Well, good morning, everybody. Today, I am going to Ulaga Lake by myself. Uh, I think D'Angelo's about done for the year. Probably too cold for him. Uh, little does he know, fishing is in all weathers. Uh, I think he's ready to put the boat up for the year. He might do some land fishing with me, um, which I get it. I mean, it's his boat and not mine. And you know, I do offer to put gas and stuff in it, and he constantly is like, no, fam, I got it. So, I mean, I try, but there's a spot I wanted to try right off of the bridge. Um, it kind of drops down to about 40 feet up to about 16 feet. So I want to get on that ledge at 16 feet, see if I catch anything there right before the drop off. Uh, if I don't get anything there, I'm going to throw directly into that channel under the bridge. Uh, hopefully we catch some big ones today, at least one. I would like to catch one personal best, and I'm talking like an actual personal best, not a not a nine pound catfish. I'm talking about something like 20 to 40 pounds would be really nice to catch for once. Um, <clears throat> I'm hoping my rods can handle it. I'll, I'll recheck my setup when I get out there. I know three of them are on 80 pound braid. Uh, with uh, steel leaders and 10 out circle hooks, so we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm at Casey's right now. I'm gonna give me a drink, get me something to eat, and I'm gonna head out fishing. So we'll see you later. something that is on the way there I'm almost I'm probably about three miles down the road four miles but uh, this is a actual if you look on Google it's a little site uh, I forgot what they're called national site spot or something to take pictures but this is called the cement tumbler space capsule and it, I don't know the story behind it so if any of you are from Oklahoma towards the Winganon area and know anything about it please comment below let me know the story because I have no idea what the story is on it I just know I've driven by there for the past two years and seen it there and wondered what the heck is going on first time I passed I did think it was a space capsule and was like what the heck and I pulled over and realized it was a cement tumbler so anyway we're almost there guys we're gonna Hopefully catch some fish today. The rain's supposed to stop in about 30 minutes or so, so I'm hoping it turns out to be a pretty good day. All right, guys, so here we are pulling up to the Uligar Bridge that I'm wanting to fish off of. Um, just so y'all can have an idea, last year was one of the worst uh, floods in this area in a really long time. The water was all the way up, literally, to the road that whenever the waves were coming, they were crashing into the road. So that's that's how, I mean, I don't know if you can see how far down that water is, but it's about a good 30 feet deep, maybe. Yeah, I'd say 30 feet. So the water was pretty high. Um, looks like I'm gonna be a little cold unless I fish on this side, which I might try, but the spot I wanna try is on this side but on this other side of this bridge we're about to cross right now. They actually made a little parking spot right there specifically for me to fish. Um, let's see if we can see it here. Yeah, there it is right there. You can see they, they got all this spot right here for us to park so we can fish down there. So the water's kind of choppy. Um, 
wind is blowing quite bad on that side and on this side it doesn't look oh come on phone focus there you go doesn't look too bad on this side i gotta go up here and turn around though i can't turn around right here on this road it's too short so uh yep all right guys so the wind is a lot higher than i thought it was going to be on this side over here it's literally pushing my truck a little bit right now um so i'm going to fish on the south side of this bridge i thought maybe you guys would want to see me fall on my rear if i do fall uh i just had a car pass by and they slammed on their brakes and i think they're turning around coming back this way but whatever all right so we're gonna come down here I guess this was a walkway made kind of looks like it almost looks like they tried to make some stairs there's a rail that's very thoughtful of them I got brand new boots on so I don't know how good the grip is on these or isn't on these yeah it looks like they got some like man-made steps here this is pretty nice so I think this is where we're gonna we're gonna post up here. We're gonna use uh, like I said, I got some chicken livers. Last time I was here, I had some uh, some guys ask us what we were fishing for. We told them catfish. I told them we had live shad, and I was trying the uh, the chicken. And uh, well, that's promising. And they said, well, here, here's some livers. We're not going to use them. So they gave me five, five thingamajigs, uh, whatever they're called, full of them. So, and there's a bobber. Look at that. So we're going to give it a shot, guys. I got something on my first route over here. The one I'm supposed to be sitting by and I'm not. We got a fish on. This is on chicken. Nice one. Nice one to start the day. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Nice one. Oh. Too bad D'Angelo's at work. Put them in the corner of the mouth like I should. here in this corner Ugh. let's go buddy give me my hook back there we go let's see that's a nice fish guys i to say he's probably about three pounds uh i'm gonna try my scale but last time i checked it wasn't working Five and a half pounds, guys. Oh. Yeah, five and a half pound fish. Not bad, it's really nice. Really pretty, good filet size. Really good filet size. All right, guys, we've been here about 30 minutes. We've got our first one in. Uh, it's a nice blue. Caught him on chicken. Here it is right here. I got garlic chicken and strawberry kool-aid but also uh it's been sitting in my fridge for five days because we used try to use it on sunday today's thursday uh we tried to use it on sunday and didn't get nothing so um i am taking this one home i don't have a stringer unfortunately so we'll figure it out in a minute i'll probably put water in the bucket and put them in there so I'm excited, caught our first one. Yeah. All right guys, so we're making our long trek over there. It's probably about, I don't know, 50, 60 yards maybe. So I'll fast forward so that you don't have to see me walk at this speed the whole time. But I figured I'd record in case you wanted to watch me fall. 
because I have a feeling it might happen. With my hands full, that's usually the outcome. there. It's definitely going to be windy here and cold, but I need to catch a big fish. I'm thinking right over here. Right here looks nice. I'm going to throw one there 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 and another one out that way all right i'm gonna throw these lines out all right guys i think i got one right here on this white one see that i gonna reel it in see what we got this is on the santee rig this is chicken now baby what now D what now D come on yeah yeah baby look at that Woo look at that D, I hate to say it, buddy. I hate to say it. I think I beat your record. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh, that's a heavy. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Yes. Let's try to weigh him on the scale. Ugh. Five, eight. Eat your heart out, D'Angelo. Nine, five, eight. Yes. Eat your heart out, D. Oh, I gotta get some chicken back on that sucker. Throw that back out there. just for me right here there it goes hell yes mungie fishing baby that's where it be at mungie fishing 